Hi all, this is the Make Even Badging video for our Even Heat Kiln. The kiln is a great tool for a whole lot of different things. This one is actually designed for heat treating metals, so hardening, tempering, annealing, uh, but you can also do a lot of other things. You can sinter, you can cast, you can enamel, you can do ceramics, uh, sinters. There's all kinds of cool things you can do with this. Um, and all of those just come down to making sure that you have the right temperatures. So this goes up to 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit. And um, we spent a bunch of money to get this really nice interface. So it's really easy to program. It's really easy to read, unlike a lot of temperature controllers. And that should make it really easy to use. It does, however, use a lot of electricity. So we told it how much we pay for electricity, and it will charge you accordingly. It'll tell you how much that is going to cost so that you can pay on the website or in the cash box. So we're just going to walk through how to use it in terms of safety stuff. It obviously gets very hot. Should go without saying. Um, it does have a safety interlock, which means that when you open the door, the electric heating coils on the inside are turned off. That obviously doesn't mean it gets cool because it stays hot for a long time, but that means you won't electrocute yourself if you open it up because the coils are electrically charged. So we're going to start by turning it on. The power switch is on the back. All the way back here. And this just takes a minute to boot up. Uh, you can change the angle if for some reason that's useful to you. Uh, this is just a thermocouple going in. A, a thermometer to tell it what temperature it is inside. You can actually move that around. So we'll look on the inside now. You open it just by twisting this and pulling it open. This is a lot of insulation, which means that it actually only gets warm on the outside. It doesn't get all that hot. Uh, these are our fire brick insulation. And then this is a tray for putting things that you want to heat treat in. So this is made for knives. So you could put knife blades in here while they're heat treating if you're doing a bunch. Uh, this just holds them vertical so they get good exposure to the heat. If it was laying on its side, probably wouldn't get heated very evenly. Uh, and you can put a bunch. So I'm just going to put this tray down in the bottom for now so you can look inside. This one's about 22 inches deep to give you a sense of what you're working with. Uh, and this is just this little thermometer coming out the top. So just be careful not to, not to whack that guy. And now we're going to look at the controller. So. Uh, so there's a few things we can do. So we're going to hit menu um, and we're going to make a schedule. So on schedule, we're going to click new schedule. The only one we have right now is the even heat test. This is just the one it came with. So you can actually, we'll just look at this to see what their test is. We'll hit schedule summary. And so it has just one step. It says ramp rate. That means how fast is it going to increase the temperature? AFAP is as fast as possible. It goes to 1,000 degrees. Holds for five minutes. Sets an it has an alert when you when it gets to that point, and when it's holding that temperature. So that's that's a very simple one, and then it cools down. So we'll make a new one. Click on new schedule. We're going to add a step. So we're going to tell it how fast you want it to go to the first set point. So we could put in nine 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 nine, which is as fast as possible. Or we could put in another temperature if we didn't just want to crank as fast as possible. Sometimes you want to go more slowly. So there's a manual for this uh, machine online, as well as in the drawers underneath the machine. And that has a whole bunch of different ramp rates for different materials. So you'll, for example, have a steel for a particular knife, and it'll tell you all the different cycles you want to do to heat treat it, to temper it, heart, and whatnot. Um, so you can just put those in, or if you're doing ceramics or something else, you just look up those temperatures and put them in. Uh, I believe that as fast as, or no, I, I, I'm pretty sure a normal ramp rate is like 500 degrees per hour is my, is my recollection. Uh, but it'll say more clearly in the printed out manual. So for now, we'll just put in 9999, enter. And we're going to tell it we want it to go to 1800 degrees. Enter, and how long are we going to hold that for? We'll hold it for 10 minutes. Enter. Uh, and so 
you can see, um, yeah, would you like to add it? So we'll add a set point alert and hold time sure. So now we can keep adding steps. So let's say we wanted it to go to 1,000 degrees now. And we wanted it to go down, well, the rate is the same. So we'll just say 200. It doesn't need to be negative. So we'll put 1,000. And we're going to hold that for 20. Sure. OK. And so now we could save that if we were comfortable. So after it's implied here that after it holds that for 20 minutes, that 1,000 degrees, it's just going to start cooling down. Um, so in terms of some safety things, so we'll just we'll, we'll click Save. Please ensure that open. Oh, we need a title. So we'll give it the name test. Enter. OK. Save. So now we have our test. And we'll go back. Um, you can see event logs. So you can see in the past. So we can, for example, see if someone didn't pay. Um, there's not all that much else that's very interesting in here. So we'll go back to the main menu, click Start. And we're going to tell it to start our test. I was just thinking about it for a second. Oh, there we go. Just have to click on it again. So you could delay the start if you wanted to do that for some reason. Uh, I don't want that. And so now it's saying that the kiln temperature is 70 degrees, raise as fast as possible, set point, blah, blah, blah. It's telling you what it wants to do. And it doesn't tell you the cost in advance because it doesn't know how much current it's going to draw. So for example, if you were to leave the door open for a while when it was hot, the heat would escape and then it would cost more money to, to reach that temperature. So it'll tell you the accrued cost at the end. Um, and it, right now it's not starting because the door is open. So we'll close the door and it'll start heating up. So there you just hear it click on maybe. So uh, in terms of safety things, when you, if optimally you wait until it is totally cool, so you're only interacting with the oven when it says that the temperature is like less than 100 degrees. But for some things that's not possible. For example, if you're hardening steel, you need to take it out when it is very hot. So what that means is you need to wear welding gloves and preferably long sleeves because it just throws out a lot of heat. Um, and even a welding jacket isn't, isn't a bad, it's not required, but it's definitely not a bad idea if you're working for an extended period near it. And then you're going to use um, any, any long pliers that are appropriate for grabbing your work. Depending on the work that you're doing, it may be different. Channel locks are probably a good option for holding the end of a knife blade. Um, and then make sure to close this. And then we have quenching tanks over in the other end of the welding area. So this one is vegetable oil, and this one is water. So you can quench in here. Um, there's a fire extinguisher up on the wall if a fire were to ignite. Um, that, in general, shouldn't happen, but it's a possibility. When this is on, you know, just, just be mindful of that fact uh, so you're not you know, burning yourself or others by accident. Try not to leave hot things out on the table for someone else to get burned on. You know, leave a note if it, if it is hot and you need to leave it out. Um, so we'll just, we'll come look at this to see a few other features and then we'll be wrapped up. So we could skip a step if we wanted. We can view the graphical of it increasing the temperatures. It goes up and up and up. And we could see the summary, which we've already looked at. So that's not that interesting. So, um, We've accrued one cent of cost thus far. And what I'm going to do now is just abort it. Yes, I am sure. So it's already up to 277 degrees, which is pretty toasty. So with that, I'm just going to turn the switch off in the back. Uh, if there is a mess in there from you know, whatever happened, uh, you know, once it's cool, please do clean it up. Or if you think that there's a risk of something spilling or being a mess, then We'll have extra fire bricks that you can put down to protect the bottom. You could put a piece of metal so that we're not, we, we don't want to hurt the inside because you can't really replace the bricks very easily. So just be mindful of not spilling metal, spilling things, or you know, whatnot going on in there. All right. Thanks for watching. I'm just going to turn it off now.